Well, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been crying for the last half hour. Tears of joy. Um, it's over. That's it, but guys. Um, thanks for joining me for this war. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be back on again because there's no, I don't know that there's any reason for me to be here. We're watching the first domino fall and that's it. I mean, when the dominoes are lined up and the first one falls, there's no stopping it. You're watching in real time the end of 300 years of Imperial Russia. Enough of this bullshit. And that's it. It's done. I'm not, I'm not just talking about the end of the war. I'm talking about the end of what we think of as modern Russia. The Russian Federation will not survive this. The, the grip of fear and corruption that they have held 140 million people in is done. And the world needs to remember it was Ukraine that put those coffin nails into Mother Russia's gr casket. Um, doing us all a great service. A great, great service. Um, it does not appear that there's any way to stop Prigozhin from getting to the Kremlin except the most extreme measures, as I think I discussed earlier. And I don't, there's very little chance that anything like that will happen. The Russian army in Ukraine is in disarray. Uh, whole battalions are defecting to the Wagnerites. There's uh, reports of some commanders who objected being shot and the troops just marching over their bodies and, and leaving their positions. Um, we're hopeful, of course, that sense will, will handle the 500 troops that are at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, right? That they will very quickly turn that plant over to the Ukrainian armed forces. Um, the same is true for the troops that are currently holding that ammonia plant uh, down in Crimea. Uh, and that those two, nat the, though the Zaporizhia, or rather the Novokakovka Dam was lost, that these other two huge environmental disasters that are just been engineered and are waiting to happen will be avoided. That further loss of life will be avoided on both sides, that Russian troops will see that this is the end and will, will head home. They can head home. If your commander gets in the way, just shoot him. It's done. We're done. You have more important things to do back home. Um, so uh, maybe, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I'm so happy I'm here to see this. And I'm so glad I could share it with all of you. Um, and that so many of you were interested. Um, pay attention now. Because here's what's going to happen. Russia's about to tear itself apart. It's the end of 300 years of Imperial Russia. The Feder Russian Federation is done. The next thing that should happen is that Belarus, uh, Lukashenko has fled apparently. His private plane left Minsk about uh, eight hours ago, I think now. And uh, there's no word on where he is. Belarusian forces here in Ukraine in the Foreign Service I expect they'll cross the border and the government in exile will come home and we'll see democracy in Belarus in the next two weeks. Not nukes from Russia. Democracy. Georgia, get your troops on the border. You got 20% of your ground to take back and put that billionaire asshole in jail. Stop poisoning the former president. Stop it. Give him some hot soup. Enough. Same with Navalny. It's a good thing you kept Alex alive. He's going to come in handy. Not that he's really that great. Don't, don't. 
Navalny was in favor of Russia having Crimea too, guys. So he's no saint. Um, and all these bastard elites out of Petersburg and Moscow who have hopped on their private planes and fled, you bastards, you want all the advantages of the West. And yet for 20 years, you've worked to undermine us. You are not welcome here. You're not fucking welcome here. Go hide in Georgia. Go hide in Turkey. Go hide in... I don't give a fuck. I hear Russian being spoken on the French Riviera. I'm going to spit in your fucking face. Shut the fuck up. Oh, you know, you should really be a little bit more generous in in victory uh, than that. I'm so sorry. But when I think about the Ukrainian men and women, and especially the stolen children that need to come home, enough, enough of this evil, enough of this in the world, we've had it with you. And the world owes Ukraine a debt for this service, a huge debt for this service that they have performed at the cost of their own. What we could really be witnessing here, guys, is the final end to the, to the roots of the conflict of World War I. This is the last of the great empires of the 19th century to fall, just as it was the last of the great empires of the 19th century to rise. It is the last of them to fall. And with it, all of the anti-enlightenment nonsense that drives aristocracy, it is time to embrace science, culture, literature, learning, knowledge, not lies and superstitions and the, 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 the bullshit notion that some people are just born better than others. That's not a thing. There are people born with advantages and people born without them. And it is our job to level the field in a fair and equitable way that respects private property. That's why the West will always win. Um, so there was one other thing I wanted to say, and it slips my mind. So it, it, I think it, I think it was kind of important too. So if I think about it, I might come back and make another one of these. <laughs> I'm so very grateful to the people of Ukraine who took me in and, and let me be part of this. Uh, thank you. Thanks, everybody.